Here's a video on using the 2Auto DRO SDM function to record all my tool offsets on the lathe. And what I came up with, we're going to make this little part here, little widget. And basically it's we need an overall dimension. So we need one cutter. We need a cutter to cut this edge here. So we use a right hand cutter there and a left hand cutter over here. So what we need to do is we need to set up the offsets for three different cutters. Let's go ahead and get that done. The first step is to take a cleanup cut on our part so we can determine the dimension, the actual dimension of the part. We put in our number two cutter and we take a cleanup cut. Okay, there's our cleanup cut. Let's see what the actual dimension is now. Okay, we come up to 2.4466. So let's put those dimensions, that dimension into the DRO. Two point four four six six. Okay, so we'll set our absolute and our SDM two for the sec for the second cutter. So our X is equal to two point four four six six. Hit enter. We also want to do it for SDM two. X equals 2.4466 and enter that. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and touch off. We'll face off the part in the front to get the front zero value. Okay, let's face it off. Reverse the auto feed. do is we'll go ahead and zero our z-axis on both the cutter and in the absolute. Okay so now let's touch off our other cutters and enter their values. So let's go with my right hand cutter Touch this guy. Right there. Okay. So that was cutter number one. So let's go to SDM one and enter our value for X, which is two point four four six six and hit enter let's zero off the Y
And there's zero for Y. Okay, now let's get our number five cutter, the left hand. Okay, there's our X. And this is cutter number five. And our value for X is 2.4466. Now let's go touch off the front side of this cutter. For that, we need to use a razor blade. You bring the cutter up to the front until you hear it click. You hear it click, back it off. There's zero. Okay, so we'll zero our Z for the five cutter. Now we're ready to go ahead and cut our part. Okay, so I've mounted my turning tool, so let's go up and we'll cut our part. So my turning tool is tool two. And we want to bring this X down to 240. Now we remember we were at 24466 is our as our original dimension. Okay, so there's four six. So we've got to take about forty six thousandths off there. Let's go ahead and Take a cut, and then we'll take clean, 10,000 cleanup cut at the end. So we'll go to 410. Change the auto feed. to our finished dimension. And then we'll take our final cut. dimension. Take a little quickie and just make sure we're there. Two point four hundred. Okay, so our, and our widget we need a cut here that's three hundred thousandths wide and then we need the high spot at 250 thousandths and that so let's get that so we need to switch to our right hand cutter ok 
Okay, and on the DRO. Cutter number one. And our dimension should be 400. Okay, so now we'll zero our Z just so I can show you where we're at. Okay, the cutter is right at the front edge and at the dimension. Okay. Now we want a flange that's 50 deep and 300 wide. So let's do that. We'll take it in two cuts. We'll go 40 and then clean up the last 10. And 40. Okay, and now we want to go till Z is 300. And then we'll come to our final dimension. And go 300. Okay, so here's our part. It's got a 300 thousandths wide, 50 thousandths deep cut on the edge. Okay, so now let's set up our left hand cutter. Cutter number five. Let's go to five. Okay, and it was right around 400. And now what we want to do is, is cutting from the left, we want a 300 thousandths wide flange and a high spot that's 250. So the total of that is 550. So we bring the cutter until we see 550 on the z-axis. So let's go ahead and take most of it in one cut. We'll do a 40 and a 10. Switch the auto feed direction. And let's cut the left side. Okay, now we want to cut until the Z is at 550. Okay, let's get our final dimension. And come to 550 again. Bye. 
Tepe. Okay, so here's our part. 300 thousandths, 250 thousandths, and then whatever's on the side. Good way to use the SDM feature since the toolbox doesn't work. And okay, something else I found out from the supplier from this DRO is that they didn't put reference marks on the scale. So in other words, if you power off and a dial moves, you've lost everything you've just set up. You lost all those dimensions. So in order to keep the memory on the machine when you're not using it, what you can do is put it into sleep mode by getting into incremental mode and putting it to sleep. Now if you move the dials, the DRO is still keeping track of the movement and you won't lose your part references. So always, always, always just put it to sleep instead of powering off. And that's how you use the SDMs to record your tool offsets.